In this video, I show how I make up the wiring to connect the various components in the air conditioning system that I've installed. Basically, the wiring that you will need to make the AC system work is as follows. There is a multi-position switch which is provided in the kit, which must be connected up to the AC unit via the plug on the harness. So there is some wiring to do from the plug to another plug to connect to the harness. I'll show you how to do that. The AC unit also needs 12 volt power and earth. The AC unit also needs to be connected to the trinary switch. And the trinary switch needs to be connected to the compressor. And the compressor needs to be earthed. That's the basic wiring system that needs to be in place to make the air conditioning system work. The Car Builder Solutions catalog does have some schematics. So that's the layout for the hoses uh, for the AC system itself. And then up here is the wiring schematic. There's a few things that you need to note if you're using the same un unit as me, the AC3. Because it doesn't have a rotary switch for heat adjustment, it's either a little bit of cold, more cold, a lot of cold. You bypass this little switch here and you run straight to the trinary switch, which is that one over there. And then from the trinary switch to the compressor, and that's what engages or disengages the clutch when it's switched on. So on the back of the multi-switch, that's, that's the layout of the pins. Low, medium, high. That's the C terminal and that's the B terminal, B for battery. In the catalog, it says C runs to the compressor, but in fact, it doesn't run to the compressor from the switch. It's got to run from the C terminal to the AC unit, from the AC unit to the trinary switch, from the trinary switch to the compressor. Just another thing to note, the multi-switch does not have an earth. The AC unit has an earth. I ordered these one meter lengths of thin wall wire from Automotive Electrical Specialists Online, AES. It didn't cost a lot of money. I chose overnight shipping and it was 15 quid for all of the bits that I needed. All of these bits here that you see. I will use brown for earth because it's a V-dub. You will need to get a bag of these from Car Builder Solutions or another electrical supplier. You will need a male connector and four female spades. So the plug will need an earth which can go to the earth post underneath the steering wheel. There's a round disc underneath there with some spade connectors on where you can earth things. It's pretty handy. And then of course, I will need to run 12 volts to the fuse box. There are some connectors on the T4 fuse box. I'll show you those. KL15, KL15A, KL30, those sockets above the fuse box. That's where I'm gonna wire this in. Now the back of the switch goes to three different places. The three fan speeds go to the white plug. And then the fourth, input on the white plug is earth and then on the switch it's 12 volt battery over here with an inline fuse and the c terminal which runs to the um, actual ac unit on the top of the ac unit so the switch distributes these wires to three different places <laughs> switch wired up now. We've got yellow for low, red for medium, orange for high. 
those three go through to this white plug. Then I've got the red, which goes from the switch to the AC unit. And then this is the feed from the fuse box. So I've put the, the fuse inline fuse connector near the fuse box to this, like so. I got a selection of these from Cali Campers down in Springwood in Hampshire. And they will, of course, plug straight into the top of the fuse box, which is brilliant. I've attached the little connector for the KL socket, and that is the multi-switch done. It controls the fan speed. So that's all wired up. That will run through to the fuse box. This will fit on that little center console piece. The terminals that are on top of the AC unit are pretty small. They're about three millimeters big, so you need a slightly smaller terminal connector, female, for those than you would do for the plug. And uh, it's the same crimp style, unlike a normal one where you would use a tool like this to crimp it. Uh, you need a tool like this to, uh, to crimp these so that it folds these little flaps around the um, the cable wire squeeze and there we go so that's uh that's the end which has just got to onto the back of the ac i've got to run an earth from terminal one this earth wire will connect to the post next to the steering column and from terminal 5 I've got to run to the trinary switch I'm going to wire the trinary switch now it has a single feed from the AC unit, the temperature control sensor, the two blue um, wires and this plug are to connect to an additional rad fan which you can mount on the front of the condenser which I'm not going to do at this time. So what I need to do is use the uh, male portion of this plug and then attach it to two females pop them in there, boom. So red and white comes from the AC unit. This is black and white. So I'm gonna use green and black to run from here to the compressor and that will control the compressor clutch to switch on and off. That's the connector for the trinary switch now. So this will connect to the compressor. Above the fuse box are the KL connectors up there. You can see them in the back. Each of these plugs for each of those different KL sockets are different. And the one that I have attached to the end of this power for the AC unit is KL15. Uh, that's the black plug So there you go. It's plugged in there. It's going to send 12 volts. It's going to go through the inline fuse Which I've currently got a 30 amp inline fuse So that should work. Okay Just underneath the steering column There's the fuse box over there You will find an odd-looking round circular thing that is the earth point underneath the dash and it has little spade connectors in there and sockets that you can use to connect wires to so I have already connected the earth wires to this contraption uh, for the 12 volt power sockets and the AC unit 
pretty handy knowing where that is instead of trying to earth it to various steel bits that is the official earth point underneath the dashboard that's the trinary wire done now so this will connect into the back of the AC unit and it's run through the bulkhead uh, through one of the grommets there to the trinary switch in the engine bay that goes through to terminal number five there we go so we've got earth power to the trinary switch and compressor and signal from the C terminal on the multi-fan well the multi-switch for the fan blower control that is the wiring done that little terminal is spare has no use these two have to do with the temperature control within the AC unit um, so there's no need to worry about those those become those come pre-wired this is the plug for the trinary switch over there and this is the control wire that comes from the AC switch on the center console that I made. This green and black one is the one that runs through to the air compressor to switch the air conditioning on and off. Next steps are mount the trinary switch into the dryer down here. On the end of the green and black wire you'll need this two-prong plug to go into the air con compressor. It's simply known as plug two from Car Builder Solutions. You'll need to order one of these if you order one of the AC units that I bought. Um, otherwise they are available on the Bay of Plenty. Next step is fire that up and then the other wire from this plug on the air conditioning compressor is an earth. So I'm going to connect that earth to the engine earth block uh, point uh, with all the other wires underneath the sump, well near the sump that is. And this is what the little female pins look like that go inside there. The thing to watch out for is to ensure that you put the correct color wire into the correct little socket over here. And um, it does have a little seal that goes in there to make it watertight. First thing you're going to do is put the little white seal over the wire. There we go. So this is the theory of these pins. That thicker piece goes over there and the copper which you've stripped off and the copper that's been stripped off goes in there and then this tool crimps the smaller bit there and then the larger bit there nice and tight to make a waterproof seal and then that slides in from the back there into the plug in my case looking at those little recesses there I've got green on the left and brown on the right so live and earth and the earth will run to the uh, the mounting point on the engine block with the other wires. Squeeze it closed. I don't know if you saw much of that but you can see how it's crimped it closed there. Um, and then to do the larger one same sort of thing. That is in correctly now. Just give that a bit of a squeeze. You can see it doesn't quite work perfectly so I always have to get this trusty old crimper and give it a, a bit of a tidying up. Maybe it's just the tool that I'm using, in, maybe I'm doing it completely wrong, I'm sure somebody is bound to say so in their comments. Remember I am not a professional electrician. I have some of these spare repair pieces which come pre-crimped it just means that I will need to create another join here this should be a decent fit hopefully yep there you go so they have clipped in place 
and then I'll put a boot over the top. Join those two together like that, give them a twist. Make sure that the solder is positioned over the center. Feed this down next to the headlight loom. So that goes all the way down to the bottom. And I can run it to the compressor. And there we go. There's the plug on the compressor. And this is the plug from the dryer. It's got to line these two up. Green, brown, click, click. And there actually is a little slide mounting point up there. Nicely done. There you go. So that is connected. I'll now pull through the earth wire. There you go. There's the earth. So what I'll do is I'll run these two pieces through some conduit and then I'm going to hook this earth up to the earth that runs to the engine block. going to use a piggyback connector there. I'm going to run this around to there. Hook it up. Right, there we go. Dare I say, the finishing line is in sight. Don't want those coming loose. I'm having all sorts of earth problems. Okay, to recap. This is the earth wire that comes from the air conditioning compressor. I've piggybacked it into the main earth wire which goes to the lower part of the engine block where all the other wiring is earthed to. The green wire, the, the switched power wire that goes to the air conditioning compressor runs to the dryer and from the dryer through to the control switch on the center console. So when you switch um, the air conditioning on one, two, or three, high, low, or medium. It sends a signal through the dryer to the compressor, the clutch engages, and the system starts producing lovely cold air. All right, well, there you go. Wires are protected get a little bit of insulation tape on there just to cover that joint and then I'll zip tie these up tuck them away and that's it wiring done don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of this AC install series thanks for watching